Oh, hi there. Welcome to my mansion. Here's my $750,000 James Terrell. I meditate in front of it. You can make one though yourself um, if you just follow this tutorial. Hey guys, the lighting in my room right now is crazy, but good thing this video is about the relationship between light and perception, right? Am I right? James Terrell, am I right? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're about to learn, so sit down. I'm obsessed with watching Architectural Digest home tours. And when I clicked on Kendall Jenner's, I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I do. She has some awesome stuff in there. If you're not a fan of Kendall, I'd still recommend checking out that video because she is a really cool art collection, um, which is the subject of this video. But also just like, I was surprised because it wasn't like the boring white minimal celebrity houses I'm used to seeing where it's like everything looks the same, everything is a right angle, everything is made of like stainless steel or marble. Um, it's not like that. It was really cool, warm and inviting. Her Mediterranean style house features rounded archways and the focal point of that living space is her pink glowing James Terrell uh, light sculpture. I believe he calls these sculptures elliptical glass and all of them in the series have a different name. I believe Kendall's is called Scorpius, but this is my first time ever seeing this piece of art and I was shook, especially at it being in Kendall Jenner's house. Like this like divine mystical piece of rainbow lighting. I don't know. I thought it was so cool. You said in the video that he makes the pieces to meditate in front of, which made a ton of sense to me. And yeah, the artist James Terrell, who makes these pieces, is actually pretty popular within like the Kardashian extended universe. Kanye actually donated $10 million to the artist so that he could work on Rodin Crater, which is this like crazy art space in the middle of the desert that he's working on. Um, I'll talk more about that later. When I was researching this, it seems like Kylie has a similar James Terrell pink light sculpture in her house too. So maybe all of them will get them. I love that for them. Very cool. Okay, I didn't mention this, but Kendall's cost $750,000. You heard that right. Mine only cost $500,000. Just kidding. Um, mine cost like fifty, dollars which I know is still expensive, but like this is going to be really cool. I think it'll be worth it. So let me school you guys on James Terrell, art history lesson incoming. What you might know him for isn't something he actually did. Drake's Hotline Bling music video with the neon drenched rooms in all different colors was directly inspired by James Terrell. You could say a knockoff or stealing, or you could say an homage. Seems like Terrell himself was at first kind of annoyed and considered suing, but then ended up just taking it as a compliment. He actually said, uh, while I am truly flattered to learn that Drake fucks with me, I nevertheless wish to make clear that neither I nor any of my woes was involved in any way in the making of the Hotline Bling video. <laughs> yeah, so we've all seen that video. We've all seen his influence, even if we don't know who he is. So he's considered a light sculptor. That would be his medium. He was born in Los Angeles in 1943, which makes a lot of sense when you think about his work. Um, it definitely has that like California new age style going on. Also, he was born to Quaker parents and ideas from the Quaker belief come into his work. Like he has some cool stuff where it's like a, Quaker meeting room, but the sky is open. So it's like this giant skylight that's changing colors. In the Quaker faith, correct me if I'm wrong, you go to Quaker meeting and just like sit there in silence and kind of like reflect. And a lot of his works, he is asking you to sit there and basically think about the way you are interacting with the light as opposed to trying to see the light and have that be the piece of art itself. Basically the experience and the way it makes you ponder is what he's trying to evoke as opposed to just like the colors themselves looking pretty. Which makes sense in terms of Kendall saying that the one she has in her house is made to be meditated in front of. And so the one Kendall has stays pink 
but different shades of pink, I believe. Maybe it gets like purple too. I'm gonna try to have mine be specific colors, but it might just have to be rainbow. I think that could be cool though too. I We love a good rainbow. Gay rights. <laughs> so Kendall's is flat inlaid with the wall. I think like if you looked at the wall from the side, it would be completely flat. They just like perfectly laid it in there. I don't think my landlord would be okay with me um, making a hole in the wall, though at this point I should just do it because she hasn't fixed the hole in my ceiling yet. But basically what I'm saying is I'm not gonna be able to inlay it in the wall. So I was really thinking about like what type of cover I would need to use because I needed it to be like a translucent white. I didn't want you to be able to see the actual light fixture that's under it. Horrible transition, but let's start the tutorial. I don't know how to film. Okay. This is what I ended up purchasing. A flush mount ceiling fixture. It's 19 inches by 19 inches. When you're looking at the store, if you end up going the route of getting a lighting fixture, just make sure to get one that's like, not it doesn't have any metal hardware and it's like flush to the wall all right unboxing just kidding i already unboxed it but okay, oh. okay. you can see the back has all these wires if you take these and just pull them out oh this one was just stuck Basically, this is the most important part. I'm gonna get a screwdriver and remove this part in the middle so that it's just flat. Since I'm literally Barbie, I only use pink tools. I, I don't even know what's in this. It's like, this part is gonna be the base. I'm just gonna leave this plastic shield part on here and just roll with it. Also, already have taken the lights out of their packages. Guys, I, I am wearing pants, I am. <laughs> Sorry. And what you do, at least in this kind, there's the LED controller and then the prongs and you press it in really hard. And then I already took the sticky tape off because I know that I'm gonna wanna use some hot glue, I think. This looks so hard for the glue gun. I found like, I found my hot knife and my bedazzler. I found a hoop skirt. I don't know. I might just have to go buy one from the dollar store. Should I put pants on? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go get hot glue gun. Okay, so I just got back from the dollar store. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Cause I am literally obsessed with my dollar store. So I got the glue gun for $2.99, the extra glue sticks for $1.29, mini cocoa butter, hand for scale, and two face masks, butterfly, and a rhinestone. Of course I had to go in there and buy other stuff. It's just like the best dollar store ever. Does that fit? Second mask, check. Once I got my hot glue gun, I started gluing down the LED tape in circles. I started with the smallest middle circle, which was the most difficult because it was pretty hard to get the wire to bend. Making sure the power cords lined up, I started on the middle circle, which was easier. I repeated the process on the rim of the lamp cover. I've finished the gluing. The hot glue doesn't look great in a lot of places, but I think a lot of that is due to the fact that this type of LED cord like is not meant to like go in a circle. Like if it were, it would need notches on the side. And I've tried that before and fucked up LED lighting. That's what happened to mine up there. So I think this will be fine. And then I have the lid which has it glued to the inside so this will act as the outermost layer of light i need to do some thinking about what my best lighting and power cord setup will be basically there are going to be three usb cords coming out i mean this depends on what kind of lights you got as well 
like I said, I hoped mine were battery, but they weren't. So I'm like, how do I plug in three USBs to a power source? I have one of these like splitter things for my laptop because I have like the one with only that kind of input. And so I'm using my laptop charger, this, and then the three USBs are gonna go into it. I know there's probably an easier way, but for now, um, let me hook this up. And then my three wires are out. So I'm gonna flip it carefully and hook these things again except um, the one near the wires isn't gonna go all the way, but that's fine. The thing about this is I don't know the best way to make them like, whoa, it's going crazy, okay. The problem with these is that the remote goes to all of them. Okay, so I take back what I said about closing it first. You're actually gonna have to turn it on first, which is a flaw in my design. If you guys have any suggestions to make this part easier. Right now, these look like they're all going more or less at the same time. I wanna hit fade so that just one of them does it. Okay, that works, okay. I grabbed the little LED connector thing in my hand and tried to just, oh fuck. Okay, there we go. That did it. But now this one needs it too. Okay, so all three are doing the fade thing, but they're fading at different times, which is what I was hoping for. Okay, so let's put this back one. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh yeah, oh my God, it's gorgeous. Can you see it? Oh my God, it's so pretty. Yeah, now I'm gonna attempt to hang it. I hung it up with thumbtacks, but it's pretty light, so command strips would probably work. Not the ideal power configuration, but this is all for show right now. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's truly mesmerizing. I ended up hanging it in my room and just staring at it while I listened to music. If you end up trying this tutorial, please send me a picture. I would love to see how it turned out. Please remember that you are a beautiful soul and you deserve to live in a space that is as aesthetically pleasing as a museum. Beautiful objects are not just for the rich and famous, we can make them ourselves. Thanks for watching.